Last time we looked at the origins of Art Giraffe and how the concept developed. Now let's see how I used the character to explore famous paintings from history. After the Art Giraffe Van Gogh painting, I tried a couple more just for fun. I didn't really start out with any grand ambitions, but I wanted to see how the character would look in some of my favourite artworks. I still felt like I was learning my way around the transparent inks and discovering the effects I could achieve with layers of colour. One thing I'll mention is that the jars had rubber droppers in the lids, which meant I was able to blend colours one drop at a time. I found this level of precision quite appealing. As you can see, I was still using black ink for major lines and figures, but definitely trying to recreate most of the images with brushwork. With the art giraffe painting of Hokusai's Great Wave off Kanagawa, I really felt like I was getting somewhere close to replicating the original work. I think it was at this point I started to see that I could use Art Giraffe to develop my skills as a painter and to learn from the masters. I went to my local public library and borrowed a book called 50 Paintings You Should Know. I sat with a notebook and wrote out a list of paintings I thought I could fit Art Giraffe into. Then over the next months and years, I set about working my way through the list. It was quite an exciting project. I didn't give much thought to the artist's intentions or the deeper meaning of the works, as I was more concerned with learning firsthand about composition and colour. By paying close attention to these paintings, I felt like I was able to gain some insights and hopefully transfer them to my own work. As I said, mixing the colours one drop at a time made this possible. By painting with fine brushes and minute amounts of ink and water, I really could take my time with each work. Not only did I appreciate the originals, I felt a sense of achievement in having completed my own version. And these really are my own versions of each painting, adding the character Art Giraffe into the scene and often in place of some actual person helped make these paintings unique to me. There's not really an explanation for a giraffe in them beyond it's my character and I wanted to see him there. I had a recurring notion of apprentice artists in centuries past learning from the masters by copying their works in the studio. It seems like that tradition is no longer with us in so much of art education. So that's the story of Art Giraffe. What started off as a quick sketch became a series of 20 increasingly difficult paintings and something I'm still proud of today. I acknowledge that they represent an incredibly narrow and Eurocentric slice of art history, but they were only ever intended to be a learning exercise. Thank you for joining me on this journey through some early artworks. You're watching Studio Brushpen.